like there's a, there's an episode of this show. There's a show I direct. It's called The Fifth Dimension. And the fifth dimension is touched by an angel, but Muslim. Okay. So you have like the the, the kind of mentor, you know, uh, Muslim angel dude, a guy named Hazer, and Hazer is is kind of a religious slash mythical figure in uh, Muslim uh, history. And then there was Sali, who is his protege, who is like the angel who would go out there and interact with the whoever the person was that week that needed help and guidance in their life. He would go do that. And, uh, you know, so there's like an episode, all of a sudden he'd be like, out there on his way, he'd walk into like this office, this business office, and all of a sudden he'd hear like, Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. And I'm like, did, did Sting sell you guys the rights to this? They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, you can't play copyrighted music because they will sue you. And they had this other episode where they're like at a party somewhere, and 50 Cent is playing. 50 Cent! And like, these guys were like, you know, if you don't, does anybody know anybody who's Turkish? If you know anybody who's Turkish, if you ask, ask them if they've ever heard of STV, because that's the name of their network in Turkey, most of them are going to go, ah, I don't know. And you're like, you know, the religious channel. And they'll go, oh, that. Yeah. Because this is like PAX in America, you know, the Christian network. That's what this is in Turkey. So, but they're playing 50 Cent. And I'm like, so these are like these pious guys. And I'm like, guys, he just dropped the F-bomb like five times in this scene in the background. So anyway, I ended up having to come in here and like overhaul their production process and be their guy to dub their stuff. And of course, we needed actors, right? Anime drawing up in New York City as it was, and uh, there being a little less voice work in general, so I, you know, dipped into the, to the, to the Rolodex. Because, you know, that's one of the things, having done this for so long, <clears throat> and, you know, one, being an actor and working with a lot of people, but also being the provider of work for so many. I have, like, every actor who's ever done cartoons in New York City, like, willing to come in and do some work with me. So in the Fifth Dimension show, you guys, the network is now called Ebru, E-B-R-U, and if you go to ebru.tv, you can catch these videos streaming of these episodes. And I'm telling you, you have to go. Watch The Fifth Dimension, because if you've ever wanted to hear Goku, Goku, Sean Shemmel, Goku from Dragon Ball Z, like, uh, you know, teaching people the, uh, you know, about, like, the evils of alcohol, and like, why not to beat their wife, and things like that. And Dan Green, Yu-Gi-Oh! all over him. Uh, yeah, and, and he's always like, you know, it's like you'll have this kind of funky looking Turkish dude, because that's the other thing. People on American TV are way too good looking. Like, they don't look like regular people, but you get used to that. But on Turkish TV, wow, it's like a big difference. And they're just like regular people, and they don't have dentists and things like that in Turkey. So, you know, all these funky looking dudes. But every now and you see this funky looking dude, and he'll have this voice that's, you know, and it's, and it's Dan. Um, and uh, Mike Pollock, who is Dr. Eggman from, uh, from Sonic. You know, he's in a bunch of this. Uh, I'm in a lot of it. You know, some of the Pokemon actors, uh, Michelle Knotts, Bill Rogers, because they actually live right near the place. It's in New Jersey where we produced this. Um, so, like, uh, Lisa Ortiz showed up in a little. Uh, Bella Hudson, uh, who, was, who was Luffy in the One Piece dub. Um, but, you know, and she was actually a Broadway actor before that, and is, again. Uh, but yeah, go to Ember.tv and check out some of these shows. It's hilarious. And even some of them star a guy who I be had become friends with and got to do this. His name is Brian O'Halloran. Do you know who that is? Ever seen Clerks? At least Dante from Clerks. So when Dante is hurting for money, he goes and does Turkish drama. So, and I gotta tell you, it was a little over four years ago they started working with them. And I'm booked next weekend to go back there and do more. That they're still running, and it's like provided this extra source of income. And that's one of the things. If you want to stay alive in this business, that's what you kind of do. I learned how to, to be an engineer. Like, I learned Pro Tools. Because back in the day, when you'd record, you'd have your engineer, you'd have your director sitting back there just telling people what to do. Well, now, they, you know, they, you need hybrid people. People who can do both, because it saves money. I learned how to do that when not many people could do that. Most of the directors didn't know a damn thing about technical 
stuff. But I do. So I got the work. So I got calls from a lot of places where I might not have otherwise. Script ad adaptation. I've adapted hundreds of episodes of shows. And because I've done that, I get work as an adapter. You know, and the fact is I can do all of those things, which has made me more marketable, which has kept me in this business. And after years of, you know, Turkish stuff, the hentai stuff everywhere bouncing around, I finally ended up being the director of the queen mother of all anime, now people may disagree, but Pokemon. Pokemon, 600 plus episodes, we're, we're recording season 13, and I gotta tell you, for <clears throat> season 13 we're recording now, this is the best gig I've ever had. And the reason is, it just never stops, it just keeps going. And there's so many new guest characters, so many goofy creatures, all this stuff. It's so much fun. Here, you want this one? Yeah. Hang on. He says, yeah, so there you go. Um, but yeah, so now I direct Pokemon, um, which is kind of a strange place, because where I started out 10 years ago, not even wanting to be in this business, or not that I didn't want to, but not even having an idea that this was a real thing, you know, that. And now I direct this show, which is one of the most recognizable anime in history. It's kind of a weird trip when I stop to think about it. Um, and it's been great. And, you know, again, I, I love working on this show. Here, who wants a puzzle? Here, have a puzzle. Good catch. Who wants a DVD? Huh? Yeah, Matt Hatter, come over here. Come get a DVD. I gotta warn you, I didn't direct this one, but... <laughs> there you go. Um, what's that? That's, that's for the Mad Hatter right there. That is that is uh, movie number nine, Pokemon Ranger. Sure, yeah. Um, but wait, so listen. Um, okay, no problem. I'll take you. Right, anybody want this guy? Yeah, you over there. Come here. Um, I got no puzzles left, sorry. Dude. All right. Anyway. Um, but uh, do, do you guys, I mean, like this kid here, hopefully, but do you guys watch Pokemon at all? Yeah? All right. Well, good. See, Pokemon's one of those things that it, it hit just at the right time. And, you know, it is aimed at children, basically. It doesn't mean that all the people can't watch it and enjoy it. And especially a lot of you guys, like, Ash, how old are you? Sixteen. You're 16, right. When that show started, you were like three or four, you know? So, I mean, and that's nuts. I remember when Pokemon first came out and, and, and you know, we used to, we like to joke about it, that it was like, oh, there's this weird thing, like, I, I, we made this, uh, I made this weird video once, I wish I still had a copy of it, and it was, um, the first movie, you know, had the Mew versus Mewtwo thing, right? And there were these two girls, this is when I worked at, like, this uh, bar kind of place, there were these two girls that looked so much alike, and everybody would confuse them, and we could, and then one of them, it was, Susan, and we call them Sue and Sue too. And <laughs> yeah, it was weird, but we like, and I made, and we made a video where we battled them, where we got Pokeballs, and, you know. And I wish I still had that, but I'm married to Sue now, by the way. That's right. But yeah, I mean, and just, and now I direct that show. You know, it's just strange where things take you. Um, directing Pokemon has been great, and it's a high-profile thing, so it helps uh, when you go out and try and find different kinds of work, because people, everybody's turned to Pokemon, and that's one thing I was saying. Like, Now and Then, Here and There is like the best show I ever worked on, but like, not all of you guys have heard of that. All of you have heard of Pokemon, you know? And the Ping Pong Club, even less you've heard of that, and that's super hilarious. You never heard of it, but all of you have heard of Pokemon. So there's something to be said for that. So it allows us to me to try and get involved with other things. Um, who wants this? Uh, come here, Ash. You're, you came dressed up, right? I'm gonna give you an electivire. Um, 